Hey guys, it's John. This is Rad 2, episode 19, I think. I just realized right now this shield is like partially invisible. Is that like a graphics glitch because of the shaders? Look at you can see my steps behind my shield. I'll let you know. I think this is 19, right? Uh, okay. So what are we doing this time? We have to. Ah, uh, dang it. I was going to go do stuff right away, but I was telling one of my viewers next time. Oh, we need to do that end map. Crap. That's really important. I put that quick draw on this thing. I don't even remember that. Uh, oh god, I have a bunch of stuff here I gotta get rid of too. Okay. Um, so I was telling one of my viewers last time, he was asking me about my scythe. So I was thinking it would be a good idea just to talk about gear. Like any good trinkets or whatever that I've gotten so far. In case people don't know, because I'm pretty sure not everybody's seen all the episodes. Maybe they don't know what gear I got. Um, not to show off, but more to just like teach you or to like show you basically like hey you should get this gear it's really good it's really nice uh i'm not trying to like hey look at my gear i'm the best fucking guy ever um let's see okay so let's look at the trinkets first so sunglasses pretty good it makes you immune to blindness i almost feel like we don't need this because i don't think many enemies blind you i'm too used to the uh fucking rl craft because in rl craft or if you play with Lycanites, there's some mobs that will blind you. <clears throat> like a pretty decent amount of mobs that will actually blind you. Like the Geist and then uh, those Swamp Monsters. So having something that takes off blindness is really strong. In this mod pack, I kind of feel like it doesn't really matter. But I've had these sunglasses forever, so I have no idea. Maybe you do need sunglasses and I don't realize it. Um, in case you don't know, a lot of these trinkets you can craft with these resplendent tokens. So see, look, it takes like black stained glass stick or resplendent token. You make a resplendent token with spectral sill. And in order to get spectral sill, you can shred diamond blocks. Uh, I believe also emerald blocks or any of these extra uh, pieces of gear that you don't need. See, look at cross necklace, broken heart, emerald, ender dragon scale. Oh, God. Can you imagine shredding an onk charm? Jesus, <laughs> that's like horrifying. Basically trinkets from Bountiful Bobbles that you don't need. Look at that. Oh my god. Shredding an Onk Shield. That's like terrifying. Uh, any trinket you don't need, you know, you can shred it with these disintegration tablets. All it takes is Blaze Powder. So it's not too bad. So you could get, you know, a trinket that you don't have pretty easily. Um, this one, Half-Hearted Horseshoe Balloon. Or it's just a Horseshoe Balloon. Um, this one's pretty good. It's just a combination of the Horseshoe. Horseshoe. <laughs> I'm spelling it wrong. Combination of the Lucky Horseshoe. I believe this is like, honestly, I can say out of almost all the trinkets, this is probably one of the most broken trinkets that you should get. Like, you should get this as soon as fucking possible if you don't have it. Um, it basically negates fall damage. All it takes is one of these tokens. And yeah, you put this thing on, see it goes on your charm, ring, or necklace slot, and you do not take fall damage anymore. It is broken. Like, it's like, you need to have this. Like, if you don't have this already. You can combine it together with the uh, balloon. The balloon is just a small quality of life thing. Increases jump height and decreases fall damage. These are from Terraria in case you don't know. Um, you don't have to have the balloon. It's kind of annoying sometimes having higher jump height. Especially because like you'll jump in the air and then it takes longer for you to get down to the ground. And It's kind of annoying when you're building and whatnot. Um, anyways, so that's not totally necessary. It's just a small thing that kind of helps. Uh, backpack? Shit, you should know about a backpack already. Uh, I guess maybe we'll come back to the backpack? Uh, I guess we'll just start from the top. Um, in case you don't know about backpacks, you can make a crafting upgrade, uh, which is pretty easy to make. You should definitely have that so you can have a nice crafting square so you can craft stuff wherever you want. Stone cutter upgrade is really nice for when you're building your houses and whatnot. And it's just you have your stone cutter with you all the time. The smelting upgrade, I'm honestly going to take it off because I feel it's like a total waste. Like, it doesn't even, it just melts like normal speed. And uh, I just feel like it's not worth it, like, at all. Um, there also is, like, fluid upgrades you can get. See this experience pump upgrade? You can put this on and then you can put, like, a fluid tank upgrade so the backpack can store XP also. That's what some people do to circumvent. I was talking about this last time. Um, if Like, I used to have bunny... It's like bunny feet or rabbit's feet three on these boots if you watch the last episode at the beginning and it was shredding my boots because it takes up durability in order to give you a buff so one way you can circumvent that is by making this xp pump with storing your xp in the backpack 
and it will constantly funnel XP to your items, assuming that you have mending on the items. So that's one way to get around uh, item enchants that are very durability, you know, costly. They eat up your durability. Um, I think that's about it for the backpack that I can think of. Oh yeah, the stack upgrade. I talked about this last time. Basically, you can make this upgrade and it will allow you to hold multiple stacks of items. See this? We can have multiple stacks of items in one square. The only problem is if you're moving stuff around, you do have to actually take all of the, the items out. So it's a single stack and then you can move the items. So that's one thing that's kind of annoying. You can also use the sort function up here and that will move items even if there is a giant fat stack of, you know, four four or five stacks of an item. Uh, one other last thing, somebody had asked me about this and I never talked about it. There's all these different settings right here. Uh, okay, if you come over here in the top right, backpack settings, and you can change things here. Allow selecting a slot that will use to show its item at the top of the backpack model. Well, that's cool. I didn't even know you could do that. I haven't even looked at most of this shit. I have no idea. No sort settings. That's cool. This is the most important thing right here, the memory one. Allow selecting slots to remember their contents and only allow matching slots. Oh, see, I don't even use this. That's really good. That's dude. That's so cool. I did not even know you could do this. So you could basically set it. So only a certain type of item can go in that slot and nothing else. Must be this one right here. This no sort setting. So A to Z. So you can change the color right here. Uh, I just have it set for green. But man, now that I see these other colors, they look kind of nice. Um, so you basically you can just highlight. So you can select everything. You can unselect everything. Uh, how do we do it? I think, yeah, so you just hold left click and then you just drag all the squares that you want to be, or you can just click too. Uh, oh, and if you right click, it will take off the uh, no sort thingy. I think purple, purple looks good. So you can basically make it so the sorting function will not work uh, on these purple squares. Whatever you put in these purple squares, they will not sort when you click the sort button in your backpack. It's really nice. It's a small quality of life thing, but it's really, really helpful. Um, in case you don't know about that, you should definitely do that. Okay, let's see, moving on. Uh, Obsidian Shield. This one is more for melee people. I guess it'd be great for everybody. Um, so it takes the Cobalt Shield, which again, you can craft this with the Splendid Tokens, just to block a diamond. You can also find these in treasure chests, in case you don't know. Um, I have like tons of them. So basically this thing is it gives you immunity to knockback and I think you can actually use it as a regular shield. Yeah, see it says a function. This is a regular shield. Uh, looks like it's just 100% knockback resistance. I haven't actually tested if this works or not because I don't really pay attention when I'm fighting monsters, but I'm pretty sure it makes you knockback immune. So you could be standing on a block, you know, hanging over a cliff and I, I assume I'm pretty sure you can't get knocked off unless you walk off yourself, but I don't know. Maybe you can't. I don't really pay attention. The other thing that this is combined with, my particular shield is combined with, is the Obsidian Skull. Again, this is another item from Terraria, if you don't know about it. It gives you immunity to burning and 50% resistance to fire damage. It does not protect you from lava, so you will still get burned if you fall in lava. Um, I think you can just straight up walk through fire. You will still take contact damage. Like if a monster uses a fire move on you, like I think blazes. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But I'm pretty sure there are certain types of monsters that do fire damage where y you won't take damage if you are put on fire, but I think you still take contact damage like if somebody shoots you with some kind of fire spell or something. I'm not sure on the specifics, but for the most part, basically, people can still put you on fire, but you do not take fire damage at all. Um, oh yeah, see, look, it says 50% resistance to fire damage. So maybe that's what it is. I think you still take fire damage if you walk on fire, but if you're on fire, you're actually burning. It doesn't do anything to you. So I don't know. I don't know the specifics. I don't really pay attention most of the time. Uh, for this thing, it takes a, skele a skull or a head of any creature uh, and then blaze powder and magma cream. It's not too hard to make. And then you can just combine that together with the cobalt shield in an anvil, which you see, uh, oops which you see right here. It just costs 15 levels and it gives you both benefits. It makes you resistant to fire and burning and it also makes you so you can't get knocked back. Okay, next thing, the scroll of ageless wisdom. I don't think this thing is too hard to make. This is what I've been using for storing XP. It basically will store all of your XP. I 
I think it's still like if you die, I have still lost XP, even though I have the uh, what's it called? Dang it, where is it? I have this thing in Knowledge of Death from a uh, Corel Tombstone mod, where it makes it so I have all my XP on death, but I still it still says that I lose XP when I'm using the scroll. So I'm having, I'm thinking I might try putting all my XP on my guy and then seeing if I die. I kind of want to test that out. Let's try that out actually. Now that we're talking about it, it's like, well, fuck it, I might as well just try it out. Like, what's stopping us? So basically this item, I'm getting sidetracked, it will basically store up unlimited amounts of XP and then uh, you can just have a hotkey where you can basically either store, it's either set to store mode or it will suck up all the XP into the item or you can set it to like a, what's it called? Extraction mode where it just dumps all the XP onto your guy. So before you have uh, that core rail thing where you don't lose all your XP, this is a really nice item to have because it basically stores unlimited XP. Um, and like I said, you still lose XP when you die. So I'm kind of like, hmm, I don't know. I'm kind of scared to actually use this right now because, well, fuck it. I'm going to test it out because I want to see <laughs> if we actually don't lose XP if you have that max, the uh, no lose XP skill thingy in core rail. Anyways, this thing is really nice. It's not that bad to make, so he just takes XP potions. I have Ender, Feather, Emerald, this blank scroll. Look at it, it's just paper. Like, it's so easy to make this. I don't even think there's a level requirement or anything on this. So yeah, you could make this literally from the get-go. Um, that's not that bad. I mean, besides the Eye of Ender, that's the kind of pain in the ass and the Emerald. Um, but yeah, you should definitely make this thing if you haven't, super good. This one, Heart of the Golem, I don't know if you can make these. I think you actually can. Heart of the Golem. Let's see. Oh, nope, you can't make them. So this was from Treasure that I got. So, I mean, you could disregard this if you want. Uh, this thing, God, I don't even think I can look at it because of this giant tool tips covering my screen. So there's these uh, spell stones from Enigmatic Legacy. There's a bunch of them. It will basically give you a bunch of buffs, but it will also give you a negative buff too. Um, so like this one, see, it gives you plus four armor. If you don't have anything equipped, you have a bunch of armor, armor toughness, explosion damage resistance, if you have no armor equipped. And then it also gives you melee damage resistance, knockback resistance, immunity to pressure and pricking damage. So you can actually walk next to uh, cactuses and you don't get hurt. I don't know what the pressure damage is. Who, who does pressure damage? Is that, oh, maybe that's the guardians in the ocean. Then it says you're vulnerable to magic damage. I have no idea what that does. Um, so yeah, I mean, most of the spell stones, there's some of them that are really OP. Uh, this one is kind of decent, uh, but for the most part, you can't even craft them. I think one of them you can. I have, where is it? <sighs> I thought I put a bookmark. I don't see it. I thought I put a bookmark for one of the spell stones you could craft, but I don't remember. It was like some hella broken ass one too. Let's see. Spell stone. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I don't think you can craft. Yeah, you can't craft any of these. I think it was this one? Heart of Creation? Yeah, look at this. Immune to suffocation. Grants you the ability to fly. You're immortal while having it equipped in your inventory. It must be super rare or something to get this thing. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> it's, it's a loot trinket, so don't count on getting it. If you get one, cool, whatever. Uh, these gauntlets of dexterity. I don't know. Can we craft these? I don't remember. Oh, cool. You can craft them. Okay. These are just a small quality of life thing. Allows you to switch items, switch between items without resetting attack cooldown. And also it gives you a little bit of attack speed, I believe. Yeah. 0.6 attack speed. It always has. It's just a small little trinket I have. I just found it. Uh, Black Dragon Scale. This is another one from Bountiful Bobbles. You need to kill the Ender Dragon in order to do this, and also the Wither. Uh, when you kill the Ender Dragon, you usually get about like, mm, like five to ten of these Ender Dragon Scales. You also get this cracked Black Dragon Scale. Oh yeah, so you can combine an Ender Dragon Scale in case you didn't get a Black Dragon Scale to make this cracked one. And basically, you combine these three things together, and it makes you immune to withering. And then again, in case you don't know, not everybody knows, you can combine together a bunch of these trinkets. So you can combine together the Black Dragon Scale with this Bazoar, which makes you immune to poison. And then it makes you immune to withering and poison. And you can make this super onk charm combining together these other trinkets. 
Uh, this forbidden fruit is a single trinket. So is the vitamins. This ring of reactions. He has a shulker heart. Immunity to levitation. And then ring of overclocking. I have no idea where you get that. I can't click on it. So I'm assuming it's just a treasure drop. You combine it together in this Ankh charm, makes you immune to almost pretty much every single debuff. And then you can combine together the Ankh charm plus the Obsidian shield to make this Ankh shield, which, like like I said, pretty much makes you immune to like almost every debuff. It's really OP. Again, it's another thing from Terraria. Okay. Uh, Half-Hearted Dislocation Ring. This one is an upgraded Magnet Ring. I really like this thing, but maybe you wouldn't like it. Not everybody likes to have magnet. All you need is an iron ring, diamond, redstone, and this regular magnetic ring. See, it attracts items within eight blocks. And if you're sneaking, then it will turn off that. Then you can upgrade it into the dislocation ring, which is just an eye of ender and this other stuff. And it'll increase the radius to 16 blocks. I really love this thing. I think it's really great because it just sucks up everything. Um, but it can be kind of annoying when you're <laughs> like, you pretty much can't drop anything anymore. So if you're like, oh, there's something in my inventory, I want to get rid of it. And it's like, uh, yeah, it's impossible. You pretty much can't get rid of it. You have to just throw it away in the trash or take off the ring. So that's kind of annoying sometimes when you're trying to get rid of stuff. What the heck? You're no longer, I got an XP drain for being idle. I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, let's see what else. So yeah, I really like this ring, but. If you watch my other videos, sometimes I do take it off because I have to, you know, drop something that, uh, like for example, let me show you. For example, certain items you can't drop, like these, all these stupid rings. I hate all these things. All these, uh, from magical jewelry, you can't shred them. So you just end up getting these in your inventory. I thought you couldn't shred them. Let's see, maybe they changed it. Oh wow, they changed it. Okay, before you were not able to shred them. Like, they would just not work. And it would just go into the ground or something. Cool, you can shred them now. Disregard what I just said. Um. Anyways. Cool, really. It's a nice ring. I really like it. This Charm of the Treasure Hunter. This one's really good. Gives you mining speed plus one fortune level. And when you're underground, it gives you night vision. Uh, speech can be disabled pressing right click. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even realize you could turn that off. This one, again, it's kind of another treasure one. You have to find this heart of the earth from treasure chest. You can't craft it or anything. Once you find it, you combine it together with all this stuff, and it makes this cool charm of the treasure hunter. That one's just a small quality of life thing. Uh, it's great if you're mining. This charm of the monster slayer is really good. What the heck is it called? Half heart. Oh, emblem of the monster slayer. Um, this one is really good. Gives you more damage against undead, 10% damage against other aggressive creatures, plus one looting level. And then they also give double XP from kill. That's really strong. I would suggest making this, again, another one that's really not too bad to make <laughs> besides the netherite ingot. That's kind of annoying. Um, but if you can make this as soon as possible, this is a really nice charm. Really good. All it takes is a soul lantern, netherite ingot, a skull, and then these XP potions and blaze powder. Uh, these bootsies I got, these are, again, these are items from, what is this, artifacts? These are items from treasure chests, so it's not like I can tell you to just, oh, I'll just go craft this thing, because, you know, you may not get it. Um, I used to use these bootsies, increases the wearer's jump height and grants immunity to fall damage. That one's really good in case you don't have the horseshoes, if you happen to find this. I know there's a lot of these that are really good, too, uh, but I just haven't found them yet. Oh, they have a hat? Extra level of looting? Oh, that's cool. I haven't even seen most of these. What? Everlasting beef? I want that. What a hell? That's not fair. Damn, that's brutal. I want that shit. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's cool. Uh, yeah, again, this are more treasure bootsies that I found. Creepers avoid the wear. Wow. Increases movement speed and step height while sprinting. So they're kind of nice to make me run faster. But again, you know, it's not like you can just go craft this piece of gear. So if you get them, cool, whatever, use them. Uh, this lucky rock, there's a bunch of these. Let's look that up. What is that? Madge something? Madge ruse? Oh, here they are. You get these just randomly from doing stuff. 
Oh, look at that. Increases luck from fishing. So all these, like, gathering tasks. All the animals you tame. All the potions you make. Yeah, these are cool. These are, like, some small trinkets. I got this one just from, like, mining, I think. And it increases... Look at... Uh, increases chance for extra loot while mining. 30% effectiveness. And I guess there's one for each of these skills. Increases luck when fishing. Gives a chance to double the loot from crops. Chance of having twins after breeding two animals. That would be nice. All the animals you tame will be empowered. Um, so yeah, that one's... Those are really nice. I think that's it, right? <sighs> the rest of these are just like other Terraria knockoff stuff. Small little trinket that you can use and it's helpful. Uh, anything else? Magic mirror, it'll teleport you back home. It does work through dimension. I don't know about that one. I could be wrong. Maybe it doesn't work through dimensions. I don't remember. Uh, it's really nice though because it doesn't have a cooldown. It will teleport you back to your bed. Uh, warp stone, in case you don't know about that. I think you could buy one in the store. Can you even make these? Okay, yeah, you have to buy them in the store, which is up here. And then you go over here to the shop. And it's right here, 350. Hmm. It's basically like a hearthstone from WoW. Every five minutes, I think, it will let you... You just hold it down and it will let you teleport to wherever you want. Uh, it's really nice, really helpful. You should make one of those. Uh, sleeping bag, I mean, you should know about sleeping bags. You should make one. Paraglider is really nice. You should make one of those if you don't for flying before you have the leap spell and all that. Anything else they could think of that's really important? Uh, oh yeah, I was supposed to be showing gear. Here's my netherite stat, or scythe. Uh, for talking about damage upgrades, I guess, we could talk about that. Uh, Spartan weapon is really broken. It's probably because I have a level 10 one. I got this from like an apotheosis boss. Those ones that have the funny names, you know, where it's like Frank something. Uh, so yeah, kill apotheosis bosses because you can get really broken enchants from them. And that's where I got this particular enchant, the Spartan weapon X. Because see, it only goes up to level 5, but since it dropped from an apotheosis boss, it went up to 10. And it's broken. I'm sure most of these would be hella broken if they were also level 10, you know, like sharpness, but, you know, I just don't have them. Uh, Ender Mending, if you don't know about it, it's an improvement version of Mending. It will store extra XP, and it will also split it with all the other items that have Ender Mending or Mending. It's hella OP. You need to get Ender Mending. It's really good. You know what looting is. Ares Grace, this is what you need against Armor Piercing. This is basically Armor Penetration. Uh, you should have this on your weapons. Because really strong monsters like legendaries or ultimates, they have a shitload of armor. And certain types of them, you're probably not even going to be able to do that much damage to them, even with Ares Grace. But <laughs> at least Ares Grace will help you with, you know, regular trash mobs and stuff. This one's really OP. Frost Aspect, it slows down and weakens the target. Really, really strong. Uh, Vorpal, this is for trying to get heads. It does, it's like a random crit basically, and then a decapitation. Uh, and in case you don't know about the scythe, I talked about this a couple episodes ago. You can make this scythe, which has a higher chance of getting heads, which is great for farming wither skeletons. It makes it so it's really easy to get wither skulls. Uh, let's see. Storage remote, in case you don't know about this, is from the simple storage mod, which you should be using it because it's really nice. Uh, you just make this remote and it'll let you basically access your storage anywhere you want, which is the storage that's right here. It's just like, uh, God, what the heck's it called? See, you combine together the storage and your storage thing. You can combine together a million chests and it'll basically give you an almost unlimited storage anywhere in the world, which is really nice. Uh, anything else to talk about? Ars Magica. I've talked about my spells before. I kind of don't really feel like going over spells. Uh, I think the most important thing you need to know is probably just leap. If I had to talk about just one spell, I would just say make leap in case you don't. If you're not using Ars Magica and you're playing Rad 2, like, uh, you need to at least use this light spell. Like, let's say you're a hardcore barbarian or an archer and you're just like, fuck magic, I hate magic. That's totally fine. You are welcome to hate magic. But you should be using at least these two spells. This is just a simple light spell. It's just a projectile plus conjure mage light. It basically makes it so you have unlimited torches. 
and uh, it takes like almost no mana. So even if you're a straight barbarian who has no mana pluses at all, you know, you will still be able to cast this light spell pretty decently. Like you should be able to cast like 10 times, I think, before you run out of mana and then you got to wait for a recharge. Uh, so yeah, you should be using that light spell even if you hate magic. And then this leap spell, which is just self, uh, slow fall, leap. Uh, you don't have to put Amplify. Amplify makes it so you jump pretty good. You can also put on Amplify 2 or Amplify 3, but it takes a lot more mana. So it's uh, tough if you're not a straight magic character to be using this. But yeah, this leap spell is really strong. Everything else when it comes to spells, I'm sure there are a lot of other really OP spells that I don't know about. Uh, but I would say those are definitely the top spells. Leap and then the light spell. Because uh, it just makes it so much easier to... Uh, you know, you don't got to worry about torches. You basically have unlimited torches. Uh, anything else that you may not know about? Nature's compass, you should craft this. It literally just takes like a compass and some logs and shit. This allows you to search for biomes. Like if you're looking for a specific biome like snow or you're looking for a certain biome in the nether or the end or whatever, you can use this item. It's really actually pretty broken, the fact that you can use this item and it'll just let you find a biome. And then you just follow the compass and it shows you where the biome is. Totally OP. You should definitely use that. Uh, if you don't know about this, this is from Corail. It's an Ankh of Prey. You basically can use this to prey on graves. And it will give you the Knowledge of Death XP. You can also use it to prey on villagers. Like to pray for them so that way next time they die, they won't die. It'll give them like a second life. I think you might need a certain alignment. I think you need good alignment to do that, though. I'm not sure. I think you can also, like, curse villagers, too, if you become evil and turn them into zombies or something. Yeah, see, look, you can convert zombie villagers. Light one protects against undead damages. Oh, that's cool. So now it shows this. Um. So, yeah, you should be using your Ankh if you don't have it. So you can start uh, getting XP and leveling up your uh, knowledge of death for Corail Tombstone. It's very helpful, especially this one, because you can disenchant items, and that's really strong. And this one, too, gives you, uh, makes it so you retain XP on death, which we're going to go try out right now. Uh, anything else we can think of? This is a ring, like, straight up from Lord of the Rings. I just got this as a super rare drop. It makes me invisible. Uh, I don't know if you're going to get that, because that's probably super ridiculously low spawn chance. Anything else? Mm. I'm working on these resistance bracelets, trying to upgrade them. Um, in case you don't know, see, that's one thing I could talk about. Let's talk about that. So you always get like these rings and, you know, the rings and necklaces and all that. And they, uh, they have, you know, oh, jump boost or haste or resistance or whatever. So I didn't even know for the longest time you can actually upgrade these. See, they're always uncommon when they drop. And so you can upgrade it with a diamond block, which makes it rare which basically makes it so it has more durability. See, it starts out with 4,200, then it goes up to 10,400. And I'm assuming you can enchant these two. You, I'm sure you could probably put mending and all that stuff on them, but I just haven't bothered with that because I don't have a lot of mending. I need to remember to do that, to put mending. Um, then you can upgrade it with a netherite. See, it goes up to 1,500 or almost 1,600. And then the best thing, you upgrade it with a block and netherite and it becomes legendary and it is unbreakable, I'm pretty sure at that point. See, it's a zero to zero. So that's something to keep in mind if you like one of these uh, rings or bracelets or whatever. It would be really nice to have a permanent version. And I've upgraded these and look at now it has jump boost. So I guess when you upgrade them, they get another enchant too. I'm not sure. Um, so it'd be really good to upgrade these if you can get a lot of netherite. Uh, what else? This half-hearted cross necklace. I'm thinking about taking it off because I don't even use that anymore. I don't even remember. What do I use on my necklace? Oh, that's right. I put the the horseshoe on. Um, I think that's about it, guys. I think that's all the things I can think of. Look. Uh, I think that's like all the gear. My gear is not really too crazy. I just have mending, unbreaking. Uh, if you're trying to be like a spell sword like me, putting uh mana boost and mana regen on all your gear is really nice. That's something you should do. Curse of Bones is really strong too, a defensive thing. You get that from Corail. Um, I mean, you should already know about Mending. Adept is really good. See that yellow enchant, Adept 3? 
That one's really good because it helps you when you're mining, like on a ladder or uh, if you have slow fall, trying to mine something while you're falling or underwater. That one's really nice. Uh, Gormand, that enchant right above ending, that one's really good because it makes it so your food uh, heals more. That's really nice. Uh, this double jump on the bootsies makes it so you can double jump for every level of the enchant. That's really nice. I think that's it. I'm trying to look at all my stuff. There's nothing I'm forgetting, right? I think that's it. Sorry, guys. This took so long. I've been talking for like 30 fucking minutes. <laughs> but I just want to give people an update on gear and, you know, stuff that I've discovered that you should probably be using, too. Let's talk to this guy. I always keep iron with me because I can trade him and he'll give me more iron. He can also repair your anvils, too, if you don't know about the Goblin Trader. He's just a random guy that just pops up randomly when you're in the overworld. There's also a trader in the in the nether. I don't know if there's a trader in the end. All right, let's go kill ourselves. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, I want to see if we actually retain XP from uh, Corail because I have this, this thingy. See, it says retains XP on death. It's like I was saying, when you use this stupid scroll, this scroll still makes you lose XP when you die, so. It could also be when you get killed by monsters, you know? That could also be the other thing. Um, maybe when you get killed by monsters, it still takes XP, you know? Like if it's a boss or something. <sighs> my poor guy's trying to eat, and I'm surprised at how strong my region is, even though I'm drowning. I still lost XP! Wait. I have 61 levels. I wasn't paying attention. Did it go down? <laughs> Did I have 61 or 66? I don't even remember. Uh, I'm not doing this again. I don't care. Man, my guy looks kind of creepy when he's like floating like that. Look at that. It just like put on all my gear again? That's weird. Uh, did you notice if I lost XP? I wasn't paying attention. Did I have 66 or 61 levels? Uh, I don't remember. Anyways, we're gonna stash all this XP. I'll have to rewatch the video now to even learn if it worked or not. Because <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Anyways, uh, okay. So now we're actually gonna do stuff. Man, I was supposed to, uh... I was supposed to do boring stuff this episode, but now that we spent literally 30 minutes talking about gear, I'm like, ooh, maybe I shouldn't do boring stuff. Oh, we have to do... We have to do a test. I am under the dark suspicion. Can I not use this thing? Did it get, like, deleted? What's up with the lunchbox? Oh, there you go. You can only put a little bit of stuff in it. Dang, that sucks. So, I was originally using this lunchbox in the beginning. But I stopped using it because people were like, Dude, you just gotta make a backpack, bro. And, you know, the backpack will... I don't even know what to put in here. I guess I'll just put everything, right? They're like, Dude, bro, you just gotta use the backpack. The backpack will auto-feed you. So I started listening to people. The only problem is, I think that... You won't actually get the, uh, the credit for using, for that one mod, we were talking about it last time. There's this one mod, what is it right here? This spice of life. Basically, the more different types of food you eat, the more you will be rewarded. Uh, you'll get, like, different buffs and stuff like that. I don't think I could put that in. Okay, let's put this in here. Can I put this in here? Okay, cool. You'll basically get rewarded and you'll get buffs the more uh, different types of food that you eat. You know, like the more diversity in your diet, basically. <sighs> Only problem is, is that... Uh, yeah, when you use the auto feeder upgrade on backpacks, it seems to not actually work. So, for all those motherfuckers... <laughs> all those motherfuckers who told me to use the auto feeding upgrade... It looks like we might be less screwed, and we might have to actually use the lunchbox. I know that's a horrifying idea, and nobody wants to have to click to eat their food, but 
if we want to get these buffs from this mod, see, this is what I'm talking about, this food diversity thing, I believe the lunchbox will randomize the food that you eat. And then you'll get all these bitchin' benefits like more health, regen, toughness. I used to use the lunchbox all the time when I first started playing Rad. Uh, but then, like I said, I stopped because people were like, dude, just use the backpack. And uh, now I'm starting to see I might be regretting listening to those people. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put this stuff away real fast. And then we'll talk about what we're going to do next. Okay, so yeah, that's something we're going to do this episode. We're going to test out using the golden lunchbox again to see if this will randomize the food eaten. Because I'm pretty sure this will randomize the food being eaten. And we might just be screwed, guys. We might just have to use the stupid lunchbox. Because see, look, at, he wanted us to build the lunch bag over here. And then there was some... This one? Yeah, see, look at lunchbox. So obviously dreams is encouraging you to use the lunchbox. He wants to push you down that pathway. Hmm. Um, so yeah, we might have to use the lunchbox to eat food in order to get those randomized buffs. So I know it's annoying. It's a pain in the ass, but dude, those buffs are really strong. Like having regen all the time. That's so nice being able to have that. Okay. So now, 38 minutes into the episode, we're going to actually do something. <laughs> um, I said I was going to make that bone meal dirt. So let's do that. I'm sorry, guys. More boring stuff. So if you want to skip ahead in the video, hey, I don't blame you. Go skip ahead. Because uh, let's see. Let's actually, let's talk about what we're going to do next. I want to try out one of my viewers, Hundo or Hondo, however you say it. He was saying to try out this piercing explosion spell for netherite mining, although I'll need to make a level three, uh, a level three wizard book, whatever the hell it's called, spell book, to do that. And he said another spell, which was a projectile pierce intangible AOE, it's a really good CC, so we might try that one too. Uh, anything else? We want to make the super bone meal dirt. I want to try doing the netherite mining with that spell he talked about. Or we might do netherite mining with this bow that somebody was saying to make. When you use like explosive arrows or something. Uh, we need to do that end treasure map. And there's a bunch of interesting overworld dungeons and stuff I wanted to check out. And I think that's it. Okay. So we're going to go do boring stuff. We're going to go mess with the farm for a bit. Like I said, if you want to skip, now's the time you should probably skip because this is going to be boring. How do you make this straw? We want to make this organic compost. I don't know how the hell to make straw. Cutting grassy crops and plants with a knife. Huh. Wild rice. Can I just use a regular knife? A ton of knives. Can I just use like one of these knives? Oh yeah, harvest straw from grasses. Guarantee secondary drops from animals. Woo, that's interesting. So it's like a weapon designed to kill animals. Wow. Is it the same as this one though? I want to make this sapphire knife, but I don't know if it's going to count. Let's try it out. We got a lot of sapphire. Since I can get straw from grass, let's try this puppy out. Where's my straw? Or do I have to actually cut them? That seeds. I have a feeling this ain't gonna count because it's not the iron one. Hunt and gather. 
Or does it have to be certain plants? I'm just getting seeds. Do I have to combine it together? They can also harvest straw from grasses and guarantee secondary. Dude, I ain't getting no straw. I should have probably went to sleep because I can't see shit. Can I like cook it too or something? Tree bark. So I have to do it on a cutting board? Smelt it. Cutting grassy crops and plants with a knife. Does that mean I have to like... Where'd my knife go? Oh. Does that mean I have to harvest my crops with this? Let's try it out. Maybe that means I have to harvest crops with this. I ain't seeing no straw. <laughs> ah, there it is. Harvest grass, wheat, or rice. Oh, got it. Okay. I can dig it. So the issue is... Did I get full seeds? Oh yeah, I did. Noise. Okay, we're gonna shred all this because we're gonna make those... We're gonna make those super duper soil that that apparently it will like you can't mess up the crops oops you can't mess up the crops and then also it will is this giving me straw nope looks like it's not that's what I thought so these certain knives it's not working yeah, so this super duper soil that I was told about is organic compost. It makes it so plants can't be broken if you jump on them. And then also they will randomly give bone meal to the plant. Like it'll randomly give a bone meal stage. So that's really nice. So we're going to try that out right now. We have a decent amount of straw. The nice thing about this knife, too, is it doesn't have durability. It's just permanent, I guess. Interesting. Where is my hoe? Where are my hoes at? I want to leave this empty for the crops. That needs to be empty for... Okay, so we got beetroots. We got our wheat seeds. And what else? Potato. Carrots. Wasn't that it? Potato, carrots, wheat, beets. I think that was it. We'll have to replace those two. Okay, so let's see. What do we need? Straw, bone meal, rotten flesh, dirt. We have a lot of rotten flesh. Pretty sure we have like a million of that. How much are we gonna need? I didn't even think about counting. Cause that's what nine by nine, sixty-three. So I mean, like I don't know, two hundred or something like that. Huh. Might have to wait to do that. I don't think we're gonna get. Yeah, we're not gonna have two hundred out of this, but we'll be a ways there. Will be a decent way there. Can I just craft like? Am I out of bone meal? What? What? Make a bunch of bone meal. Hold on, let's get all this out. Get the stuff out of here. Oops. Bone. I know we have a ton of bones, dude. It's like. Why is it not making all of them? That's strange. There you go. Almost a thousand bone meal. That should be good, no? Wait, what's the alternative? Tree bark? 
More bone meal. This one takes tree bark instead. No rotten flesh. We'll do this one because I know we have a lot of rotten flesh. Uh, I wish I could just choose. Can I just like choose? Well, I guess straw is the only limiting factor, so whatever. Just use the straw. Did I use it all? Dang, I did. Okay, never mind. Well, we're gonna need a lot more straw then. That's for sure. Let's get out. Oh god, I probably shouldn't be using <laughs> this. is gonna be. My shovel is a little murderous. I just use my do I have to do anything to it? Oh rich soil. So it has to decompose. I didn't realize. Sudlight, water, adjacent activators, mushrooms. Interesting. So we're not even going to be able to harvest or plant anything here yet. Totally forgot. We should just be using this. Let's use small square. There you go. Now I don't have to worry about messing up the soil. Dang, that sucks. I was expecting to like do this right away. I didn't think I was going to have to wait. Oh well, it works out, I guess, because we can go do other things while we're waiting for this thing to finish. That's that. Well, I guess what we should do then, since we have to wait for this soil, we should Probably just replant all of our wheat since we're gonna need a ton of straw So let's just do that. We're not gonna replant any of this other stuff We will just plant a ton of wheat And just do it that way can we use the scythe or something? I thought there was a way you could like instant plant. Is it just the hose? Guess not. Oh, it's that harvesting scythe. That's what it was. There's that harvesting scythe that'll let you plant like multiple plants and all that. Let's try it out because Reaper Scythe. What the heck is it called? Is it this one, the stone scythe? Pickle tweaks. They showed us over here in the quest menu, there was some scythe that you could make to like plant a bunch of stuff at the same time. So it is just a scythe, okay. Well, let's try making one. I think it's only for harvesting, right? Tool for harvesting plus replanting crops in AOE also works as a weapon. What did that sickle say? Mining plant material blocks. Hmm. So we probably got to have plants down in order for this thing to actually work. Well, I guess we'll try it out next time. Next time we're in the area. I want to expand this farm and definitely add a lot more to it and make it look nicer. But for now, I'm just like, eh, we'll just do the compost. I'm actually really glad that I did the compost. I was thinking about not working on the farm right now, but 
now that we worked on the compost, now that I realize this is going to take time and that we need to stash up more straw, I'm like, oh, you know, it's actually a good idea to do that right now. I'm actually glad that we did that. So, yeah. Good idea. Uh, oh, look at We got some of those seeds we were talking about. 26% chance. That's pretty good. That's a good one. Uh, I'm going to probably... Let's get a chest so we can store this stuff out here. So that way I know we need to replant this stuff. Seeds. Any potatoes? Anything else? I think that's it, right? The rest of the stuff we can just stash. More of these stupid cards. Well, that's the good one. Let's put it in here. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna use that. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna forget to use that. But at least it'll be in the box. I can't say that it's not in there. That's nice. Now we're stashing up more of the magic stuff. The magic juice. Oh, look at that. I forgot we had stuff in here. I forgot that I already had a storage chest for what I wanted to do. Okay. So, next order of business. Ooh, we need to try this food. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, right? Any other food? Yeah, I'll put this in there. I'm pretty sure this thing will randomize and give you different random food, but I could be wrong. Okay, so what's next? So, we're working on the super bone meal dirt. So, let's put that on there. Working on it. Need more straw from harvesting wheat. So I wrote that shit down. Okay, uh, I guess we could try out the spells. Projectile Pierce Intangible AoE. So Hondo was saying that we need to do... We need a level 3 spell book. Which I don't think I have yet. Ah, oh, I can't even do it. Shit. <laughs> Never mind. I need this stupid totem of undying. I forgot I haven't actually found a mansion yet or anything. Obtained by defeating the Wilden Chimera. Wow. So that's something we need to do. And we're going to have to kill another Wither. So it's like, ugh. Okay, I guess we're not trying out that spell. Because <laughs> I still haven't done that crap. Well... If that's the case, I think what we're going to do, we'll probably try out the netherite mining like we were saying. So I think we're going to go do that. Did I make the bow? Oh no, I need to make this bow. But I need level 15 archery and I only have level 10 archery. Uh oh. Um. Hmm. Maybe we should just go to the end. Ah, oh, you know what, though? I don't know if we're going to be able to kill Endermen with arrows, though. That's the shitty part. Hmm. Did I put infinite on this bow? Didn't I put infinite? Oh, no, I didn't. I thought I got an infinite bow, didn't I? I sure did. Okay, so if we're going to put infinite on this bow... Ifrit's Blessing. Oh, that's right. I was going to do this next time. I was like, oh, I'll put on a bunch of buffs and make a buff-ass bow. Piercing. That just makes it to go through guys, doesn't it? Breaking. Power. That's the one we want is power. I wish we could search by bow enchants. On this enchantment library. I really don't like that you can't do that. Uh, but whatever. What are you going to do? Well, let's go look at bow enchants. Oh man, 44. Oh wait, wrong place. Right here. Endless quiver. 
Makes all arrows infinite. Ooh. Reactive. Yeah, hunting. Yeah, we know that. Medicinal drops. That's nice. Quick draw. Man, that's hella good. Increases the accuracy and speed of arrows and allows them to pierce. Ooh, that's a good one. Three arrows. Last protection. Feather falling. Fire protection. Infinity. Power. Increases damage done by arrows. Yep. Punch. That does knock back. Breaking. Mace of fire. Evade away. That's nice. Shooting increases. That's nice. Draw speed. Oh, interesting. Another draw speed one, huh? Increase chance increase of the player level. Increase or decrease your damage dealt. Huh. Has a chance to damage the target's armor durability. <laughs> I wish that worked on the guys who don't have armor. Combo star. That one might be really OP. I forgot about this Demitter's Mark. Man, that's really strong. Yeah, and then these runes. Yeah, whatever. Look at these glowy weapons. Oh my god, they look so pretty. Does it actually like transform the item or does it just make it into a glowy weapon? That's weird. Okay, so it looks like power is the only thing then. Piercing. Do we want piercing? Mm. Yeah, I guess we'll have piercing. Infinity, piercing, and power. See if we got any power in here. Yeah, says we do. Infinity, piercing, and power. So let's make some of those fancy schmancy books that we love so much. Hungering Tome. Uh oh. What are we missing? Oh, book. Okay. That's not so bad. Are we all out of leather? No. Oh, we might be all out of pages, though. What is it, paper? Oh, we're not out of paper. I didn't realize we were that low on books. It kind of makes me want to go uh, raid the shit out of a <laughs> out of a village. I probably should do that. I need to start harvesting bamboo or something to get paper. I should make one of those bamboo farms. That's what I probably need to do. We want just three books, right? Yeah. Infinity. Piercing. And power. Let's toss those away. We don't need those. Alright, infinity, piercing, and power. Infinity, piercing, and power. Where the heck's infinity? There it is. Infinity, piercing, and power. Let's see, what's the max? They said it was five. Max level five. Can we make that right now? Power four. We sure can. And then piercing, right? What's the max level on this puppy, too? Oh, it's four. Okay. Penetrate entities and shields. Nice. Dude, look at how much of those levels we have. Holy crap. 45 points. Jeez. Okay, we're going to combine together those two. Infinity piercing. Okay. Oops, I almost forgot to eat. Oh, boy. Looking forward to this eating. Hold on. Let's go look at the, the book. Look at that. My food diversity is going up, baby. What the fuck? Air? Is that a thing? Says I've eaten it one meal ago. Is it because of these sandwiches, maybe? Huh. Let's 
zero heals. Hmm. They said you could make a hotkey for that spice of life thing, but who knows? Five enchant levels? That's nothing, dude. It's like, what? Infinity? What? You can't put piercing? Ah, oh, it's only for crossbows, you stupid guy. Oh, well. We need that true shot. That's the one. Hold on, let's go look. Maybe we have true shot. Gunner and true shot. I don't think so, but you never know. Nope, no gunner. What about true shot? Nope. Dang, that sucks. Oh well. That's what we got. That's all we got. Infinity and power. Cool. And we're gonna need to get mending on this thing, but I think we're all out of mending, aren't we? Oh. Another mending, nice. Okay, what were we gonna put this on though? Oh, I forgot about the mana boost too. Although that's gonna take a lot to put that on. Crap. Wasn't there like diamond gear that we had that had good shit on it? I know I just dumped a bunch of stuff in here and I totally forgot about it. Mana region, treasure's eyes, ecological, socketed. Golem Soul. Mana Boost. There's one of them. Mana Boost 1. Mana Boost 3. What does this have on it? Sage's Blessing, Fire Protection. Overstep. Let's do this one. Get another one of our fancy schmancy whatevers. Wait, I thought we had a mana boost. Let's go look. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. I vaguely remember. I thought we had a mana boost three. Well, look at that shit. If it ain't. Oh, we need that mending though. Should we put mending on this bow? Uh, Cause I probably need mending on the explosive bow. I don't know. Um, Yeah, let's just put mending on it. Cause this thing, we're gonna use this for the ender dragon. So it's like, I might as well. Piercing, we can't use the piercing. Need another stupid book. So what are we taking off this thing? Cavalier, Hecates, Ares Grace. Ooh, another Ares Grace. That's nice. So mending, huh? I see it. We may not have enough XP for this. Five. Oops, wrong thing. Bootsies. This is going to be expensive. Oh, I had like what? 60 something levels. Still, that's a lot. Oh, I forgot I was going to put on the rabbit boosty too. That's what Senor David was saying. He was saying, uh, just use level one of the rabbit boost or whatever. Rabbit feet. And that will make it so your bootsies won't get all shredded. But I have a feeling. Ooh, that's what I thought. I have a feeling it's going to be expensive. Almost thinking that maybe I should just disenchant this thing. <sighs> if I disenchanted it, I think the only thing I would take off would just be Death's Odium. I guess the double jump. Oh wait, what the fuck? I already have the mana boost on it. <laughs> I didn't see because it was blending in with all those colors on the bottom. Oh wait, did I just put it on? God. Oh wait, yeah, of course I did. Duh. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I have the memory of the goldfish. Uh Yeah, I think it's gonna cost more levels if I were to disenchant this thing and put everything back on. I think it would cost more. Actually it might actually cost less. 
It might only cost like up to 30 or something like that. Because it'll be cheaper to put on certain enchants. Whatever. I'm too lazy to disenchant this and do that whole process, so... Instead, I'm just gonna use a fat-ass chunk of XP. We should probably go kill a... Ender Dragon, huh? We're gonna need XP to make up for all the XP I just ate up. We got 40 levels on here, so that's good at least. Rabbit's feet. Alright, David said... Ooh, man, that's really nice. I just That's just Rabbit's feet level 1, and it feels like day and night difference. Mr. David said, Rabbit's Feet level 1 is really good and you won't notice your bootsies getting shredded. Although, look at that. They're already down 1%. Alright, David. We'll see if you're... We'll see if <laughs> your enchant uh, is going to work out. Okay, so we made this bitchin' bow. What's next? Uh, I want to try out netherite mining. We should go kill a uh, ender dragon so that way we can... Get some XP. Oh, dang it, I forgot. I gotta eat. I forgot about this stupid bug. There's a bug with the... <laughs> Hold on. Now I'm like, wait, I gotta put all this stuff in here. Do I have baked potato in my thingy? No, I don't. It seems to be going down the list, eating stuff that's not... What else should I put in there? I guess apples? Okay. Seems to be going down the list of eating food that's different. I feel like I need to check that. Forgot. We only need one arrow now that we have infinite, right? We no longer need all these million arrows. What was I supposed to do? I already got distracted and I forgot what I was supposed to do. I was going to make the end crystals. We need four of them, right? How much gas tiers do we got? Oh, we got a million. And then that rose crystal? Oh, we got a ton. I think glass is the only thing we don't have a lot of. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go fight another dragon. I need to take a break because I know you guys are probably tearing your hair out. and Like, dude, this guy has not done anything. Uh, let's go take a break and go fight an ender dragon. And, um, oh yeah, I want to test out this bow. That's what we'll probably do. This might be bad because I have a feeling these towers are just going to keep getting taller. Hmm. Eventually, we're going to have to like fly up super high in the air just to fight this stupid guy. Uh, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Mm, yeah, I guess we'll put it on number four. Two, three, four. All right, unlimited arrows. Okay, David, David, we need to talk, dude. Look at my boots. They're ninety-five percent. <laughs> you said you didn't notice. Your bootsy's getting destroyed, but I mean, I I'm noticing him. <laughs> That's what I thought. So I wonder if we should just destroy these towers. We might have to do that. We might have to destroy the towers. Let's see if we can shoot it through the little gap. Ugh. It worked. <laughs> Two. What? Oh. I hate how it's like they don't render if you're too far away. Nice shot. You're gonna get it right now, mister. Nice shot. I thought I got that one already. I guess I didn't. Okay. Where are you? I have a new bow that I want to test on you. You're going to give me a lot of archery XP too. That's nice. 
Hit that. Let's turn on the XP tracker. I need 15 archery, I think, to make that diamond bow. Man, I really want to whack him. That's how you know I'm a melee person. I'm like, I still want to whack this guy. Probably because my bow is not super OP, that's probably why. One of my viewers I remember was telling me a while back that he had a bow that was doing like 150 damage, just like my scythe. And I'm like, hmm, well I think if I had that bow then I'd definitely want to switch to that. You know what, this is actually a good thing, because we're getting archery XP off this guy. So let's keep farming him for archery XP. Try and hit 15, level 15 archery, and then... Man, you want to get caught again? Or does he just do that? Oh, he must do that, because look at my arrows, they're all not working. Or do I got to kill these little guys down here? There you go. Give me level 15 archery. Yeah, so I found that comment again. I've been telling you guys about that. Some dude who said he made some like uber bow for, uh, you know, farming netherite scrap or ancient debris, whatever the hell it's called. So basically he said he made an, uh, an emerald bow from the better bows mod or whatever it's called. Uh, this one, extra bows. He made an emerald bow, which is like the best one you can craft for that mod. He put on the triple shot and then the TNT enchantment or the TNT upgrade. He put on quick draw on it and mending so he could shoot faster. And then, yeah, he did just like he, I was telling you that he put on, why does this happen? He put on a XP tank or whatever on his backpack. And so it was just funneling, you know, XP to his mending upgrade on his bow. So he could just shoot a ton of, you know, a triple shot explosive arrow to go mining in the nether. And he was saying if he got about two stacks of nether or ancient debris in like 30 minutes. So that's pretty good. Pretty good, I think. So I'm down to try that. Now that this guy is so low, I'm just like, well, might as well finish him off with the bow, right? Definitely a lot more time consuming. Where'd you go? Did I run out of time? Is that a thing? Did he just bug out? Dang, you guys are fast. That's scary. Where'd the ender dragon go? It looked like she just like went into this pillar and just disappeared. <laughs> Did she just bug out? Or do I have to kill all these ads? That's what I get for using a bow. What the hell happened to you? Why are you guys floating? Oh, because they got hit. This is so weird. It just like glitched out on me because I took too long, I guess. That's fucked up. Can I even reset it at all? I hear a wing flapping. The fuck? Wow, okay. Yeah, that scared me. I'm 
I'm gonna get him down super low. Alright, whack him with the sight. Because I want to. Give me good XP. I guess I can use the diamond bow now. From diamond bow from extra bows. In case you didn't know which one I was talking about. In case you're like, what are you talking about? You're using a diamond bow. Yeah, yeah. I mean this bow right here from extra bows. All right, cool. And look at my poor food. Oh, look at those buffs. We just got a damage buff right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look at that food diversity. Uh-oh. Boys and girls. Hate to break it to you, but you can't be a lazy son of a bitch and use an auto-feeding backpack. You gotta go use this lunchbox. Sorry. Unless you guys know a different way. Like, please, tell me in the comments. Uh, cause trust me, look, I don't want to be using a lunchbox as much as you, okay? There's gotta be somebody who's figured out some method of randomly eating from the backpack or some other way of randomly eating without actually having to hold down the dang button to eat from the lunchbox. So please, if you're a lunchbox scientist, please, uh, let me know what you've discovered so that way you can help us out. So that way we don't have to, uh, you know, be clicking the stupid button to eat food, you know? Help us out. I'm sure you figured out a way to auto-eat food. But for now, since I don't know how to auto-eat food, or if there's not even a way to do that, we, uh, we gotta use the lunchbox, guys. It's, uh... That's just the way it's gonna be. Is there another one of these guys over here or what? Man, there's so many. I really want to whack them and hit them, but I know as soon as I do that, they're all gonna attack me. I really want to do it. I'm gonna be honest with you. Hold on, let's look at our XP. We have 65 levels. Before we instantly kill ourselves. <laughs> this is not smart at all. When have we ever done anything? Like that? Oh, he slowed me. Aha! You can't get me when I'm in there, bitch. See, that wasn't so catastrophic. Not as bad as I thought it would be. Oh. <laughs> They had the last laugh. <laughs> All these stupid necklaces. They're really the worst. Dang, sorry dude. These necklaces really are the worst thing. They're cool in the beginning, but man, once you get later on, you're just like, why? Look at that. So it's like you can't throw away a necklace. Oh. Yeah, see, it's like they just... <laughs> Can't tell if it's just glitching out or what. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna stash all this stuff. Seemed like I was able to throw them away in the overworld. Okay, where is the other shulker? This motherfucker is trolling me. I thought he was dead. Aha! Hiding over here, huh? Alright, let's see what's in this bag. Dragon's breath. Hunting. Alright, yes, yeah, it's alright. Well, I mean, now that I'm here in the end, I was supposed to, what was I supposed to do? I was supposed to go do something boring or something? Oh yeah, I was supposed to go make the, the bow. But I mean, guys, we're in the end now. We might as well go do this map. I mean, come on. What's, it's like, what, 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 what are we standing around for? Let's look at... What are they saying about this mod? Food book? Let's see if we could bind the button for that. 
I don't really want to use a button. Open food book. Yeah, fuck that. We ain't using the button. <laughs> I don't want to give up a button just to see this thing. Look at that food diversity is going up. Oh my god, thank god. <laughs> I wonder do you get higher food diversity for eating like really crazy food? Or do you just need to be alternating all the time? I don't know, but look at we got that strength. Regen at seven food diversity. Oh baby. I want it. I want it, I want it, I want it. Threshold 31. So I wonder if that means you'd have to be constantly eating tons of different types of food. Like more like So would that mean that you would have to eat a total of 31 different types of food? But the stupid lunchbox don't even hold that much. It's like what? Uh what is that? Eight fifteen? Oh no, fourteen. So you have to have like two lunch boxes? What's the meta? Alright, we were supposed to leave. But uh like I said. So we are south. Gotta go this way. Pretty sure that means that we're south. Oh, 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 going back. Come back. Now we head north. We didn't see that before, did we? Ah, my comp just died. Any good loot in here, huh, misters? That was it, just three? End shard. I don't know what that is, but considering that's the first one I've seen, it's probably something important. Is that a phantom? Oh yeah. What's up with these lecterns? Guess there's nothing on it. This music sounds really pretty. Let's turn up the music, because I feel like the music's so quiet here in the, en the end. Sounds pretty. This way. Umbrella jungle. I'm on the lookout for anything good. Aha! Something good. Uh oh. Starting to get a little laggy. Me a little shit. I forgot. What we need to do is... Probably just switch these, right? This should be our leap spell. Number five. Let's take the leap spell off. 
We'll put on Dispel. Where the hell is Dispel? Dispel. Create. And... We need a light spell. Is she to spell? Oh yeah. Projectile. The heck is light? Am I blind? Oh, I don't have light on this one, I don't think, huh? Crap. I don't think I do. Damn, I'm gonna have to put that then. I forgot, I made this book a lot later. What does it look like? It looks like... It's like a sun? Yeah, see, it's right there next to it. Yeah, I don't have it. Dang, that sucks. I thought I did have it on this one. What are we putting on this? We need light. We want the leap spell on this. I'm gonna delete this. The dispel on this one, so that way I know this is only for leaping. All these dang phantoms. Well, whatever, they're not on me. Cool. Fortune 2, that's good. I can dig it. Mark this with an X. Alright, back to traveling. Anything good? Another one of those weird factories. I wonder if there's actually anything good in there. I see some gold. One of those weird Stargate portals. Hello, hello. Oh, dang it. Now that I don't have the dispel move on. Wow, you actually survived two hits? That's crazy. You deserve a medal. I almost feel bad. Ooh, we're close. It's probably not a good thing, because it's probably something crappy. I hope it's an end ship. That's what I'm really hoping for. Well, we shall see. So we can get that Elytra. What? There's no bottom level? I got gypped. Okay, we need to look up these end shards because I'm getting in a lot of these things. Is this to make those, yeah, end ingots? And what do you make with these? Huh. So this is an upgraded from netherite. Interesting. That seems broken. I don't think Dreams has looked at this. <laughs> They're better than netherite, but you need less combat to wield them. Oh, you... <laughs> Dreams, you gotta fix it, man. It's just this weapon? Everything else looks like it's fine. It's all set for 75. That's interesting. I didn't know he had this. Doesn't have any boost to XP, though. Look at that. So Dreams probably hasn't done a pass on this yet. Eternium. Anyways, another thing he needs to fix. 
So it says we're close. Oh, wow. Is this supposed to be Bulbous Guardian's Edge? Whoa. I don't know what the hell is going on here. Is that a shulker spawner? Yeah, it is. Interesting. Like invisible shulkers? What's with all these forges? Whoa. Do I need chorus fruit or something? Oh my god, these chests are crazy. I think I need chorus root for something. Just harvesting it all. Shulker spawner, huh? Well, I guess this is what we were looking for. We wanted to find that Elytra and dang, this is like a whole end fortress. We're gonna find it all right. But first... We need to get rid of all this crap in our inventory. So we found it then. Hmm. Okay. Need to get rid of all this stuff. We got too much crap in here. That's nice, we got some monster coins. I feel like I haven't seen monster coins in forever. Okay. What do we got? Does this just give a bunch of XP? Lightning dragon blood, hell yeah. Scout. What the hell is scout? Oh, that's interesting. I'll take it just because it's diamond. See how much XP these give. These are blue tones. Give like 10 XP, looks like. Two. 17, nice. So these are much better tones, huh? Stasis. Whoa. With it on a living creature to teleport it to that location as long as it resides in the same dimension. Whoa. Vanishes after being used. Oh, come on. I guess we'll take it. Use these XP tones. Yeah, 25 XP. Oh, you have reached 400 total levels. As in, that's how much I have right now, or that's how much I've gotten? <laughs> Alright. This looks like a trap. Oh, maybe it's like a hallway. Interesting.
Like a little cage? Hmm. So I guess we're supposed to stay on this level? Yeah, because this just looks like nothing. Yeah, see, there's nothing here. There's like multiple layers. Man, you're buff. A bed? I don't even think you can sleep on beds, right? Can you? In the end? Hey, I needed bookshelves. Or I needed actually books is what I need. Probably break these. Get them books. This didn't help. One second, guys. Okay. Sorry, I had to let my doggies out. Okay. That was a dude. You're so weird. It's like a cage? Cage for a monster. Oh, you're a legendary. Probably shouldn't let you hit me with your little balls. That'll probably murder my ass. Yeah, I came up from here. Oh, that's lava. Don't worry, I'm gonna get you right now. Came down, didn't I? This place is so convoluted, I'm like, ugh. Enchants that are no good. Maybe we should deal with the top parts first. Look at how much there is. Oh my god, I thought I was like... I thought it was just the top area. Oh, man. Oh, wow, an ache. Hmm. Hey, Elytra. Nice. So I need one for the enchant for gliding. Ooh, this elytra's got mending on it. We don't really need an elytra anymore. Now that we got these... Now that we got these gliding, or the leap spells and all that. Anybody else? More beds. I hear him, but I don't know where the hell he is.
No loot. No, it doesn't look like it. Guess we should just go right for these places, right? The trap? Observer. Uh oh. What was the purpose of that? Is that a mistake? Did I have not done that? Huh. What the hell is that? Oh, it's the bottom? Oh, let's go look at that real fast. Dude, it's like Zangramarsh or something from WoW. Big old mushrooms. Dude, that looks amazing. Damn, that's a big ass mushroom. Dude, these look cool. Oh. Ender Temple. Hold up. Let's go check this out. Endermite spawner. Hey, mister. Oh, I just realized I have regen now. That true? Yes, I do. Health, speed, armor toughness. Nice. I mean, I shouldn't break these because they're endermites. Oh well. Where's the trap? I don't see it. I don't trust it. Definitely don't trust this shit. Dang it. I need that light spell. There's another chest. Wow. Look at that shit. Looks like it's safe now. <laughs> I hope so. Here goes nothing. Ooh, and we are loaded. Hey, we finally got a new... A new whatever, and I can't even read it. Oh, it's over here on the left. You no longer need air to breathe. Immunity to any status effects. Your attacks inflict withering. They are exposed to darkness, receive massive damage and heavy debuffs. Otherwise, lethal damage won't kill you. So, what's the con? Any living creatures nearby, if they're exposed to darkness, receive massive damage. Hmm. Seems pretty good. <laughs> Not much cons. <laughs> Protection. Yeah. Hope fades. Should we take this stupid eye? I feel like it's just too situational. A gold backpack. 
Oh, might as well take it if it's gold. Upgraded. Whoa. I don't know what this shit is, but... Looks special. Elytra Booster. Hmm. I don't need it, but... Throws a disc, which makes up to 10 bounces in the walls, cause damage. Hmm. Sounds cool. Oh, so much crap. Alright, we gotta go deposit. Where's my controller? Oh, there it is. We gotta deposit this junk. Let's keep the Elytras with us, because those are kind of important. Rest this stuff's like whatever. Gold backpack. Music's pretty. Chill, makes me sleepy. Okay. Man, I'm glad we went in here. Improves agility in water, nice. Bailey's bovine rocket. Projectile, launch, amplify, delay, explosion, amplify. Hmm. I guess we'll take it. Protection 4, I'm down. Gallop reach. Do we want this? Uh, nah, we don't need it. Uncraftable potion. Flippers are cool. I'm glad we walked over here. Or flew over here. Man, this biome is so cool. Look at that. Oh my god, it's so cool. Alright, where were we? Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Got anything good for us? Hey, little shits. Oh, he's a legendary. Not anymore, you ain't. You just bit me, you bitch! <laughs> Sound like you just took a bite out of an apple, my ass! <laughs> He's like, Ow. How? Oh, wait. I leaped at him. <laughs> Why are you guys so aggressive and your fucking cousins over there weren't aggressive? Y'all dudes are mean. Damn, look at that 187 damage. Funny when they bite you. Did we already get this one? I don't think so. Nope, not looted. Dead end. Boo. Man, that's a lot of Enderman. Alright. Back to this stronghold thingy. What are those? Ether stones. 
stone. A bunch of lamps. Cool. Alright, where were we? Uh... We just checked out that place. Got the Elytras. We can go in there. Oh, nice. Another dragon egg? of loot boxes. That's nice. Why can't I loot it? Oh, there you go. Yeah, more dragon eggs. Let's just hold these dragon eggs. Unbreaking 2. Nah. Another map? Oh, it's just an empty map. Yeah, no thanks. We ain't interested. Sorry. Last, yeah, protection five, good. Stasis, who cares? That's good. Eh, we don't care about the beetroot seeds. So another end explorer map, huh? Or is it the same one? Yeah, it's the same thing. Hmm. Why did they give me two of the same ones? Strange. Man, more dragon eggs? God damn. Uh, popcorn fruit. Yeah. Dang, we got a lot of mending on these elytras. I gotta remember. Remind me to disenchant these Elytras. Enchanting table? Is that different from the one, the normal enchanting table? I'm not gonna get this Elytra booster, we already have. We already got flight. We don't need that. It's a waste. I didn't think I was going to get this many Elytras. Vite. That just gives you more life, right? Yeah. Wharf. Ecological. Uh, uh, I feel like I'm not going to use ecological anymore. I think mending is just so much better. It's like no point of even taking it. Did I even take the eggs? Are the eggs even useful for anything? Look at all these Elytras, goddamn. So we'll definitely get one of them and turn it into a spell. We got two with mending, so that's nice. I think we need level three though to do that gliding spell, don't we? Yep, tier three glyph. Ah! Oh, no shit. I didn't know you could craft this. Golden Fleece? Huh. Interesting. How do we get a Golden Fleece? <laughs> so we could either find a mansion or find something from Greek fantasy. Do we have to find the Golden Sheep? The Wilden Chimera. Hmm. I forgot we still have to make that bow. Oops. We should do that when we finish up here. We gotta make that explosive bow for mining netherite. I 
Another treasure room, man. They're gonna be loaded. The ghost. What's that? What is the ghost? When you have invisibility, all entities and players cannot see you even when you have armor and held items. Oh my god, that's OP. That's crazy. Cause I got, I got the one ring. I can definitely pull that off. I thought you guys were hostile. Dead end. More of this astral dust. God damn it, I'm full again. Well. Got a lot of that thalassium or whatever. I bet you we could make a full set of gear or something. But I'm almost just like, what's the point, you know? So we have our diamond gear. And I think that end gear is not really that much better. That's why I'm kind of like, eh. Do I really want to spend the XP and all that? Trying to enchant some end armor when it's only slightly better, you know? I don't know. Kind of whatever. Diamond backpack, that's nice. Berserker protection. Is this Berserker again? Oh, your health higher damage. Eh. Nah. Not interested. Purple block. Don't I need that for something? Honey bottle. Thanks for reminding me to eat. Let's take these end chests. Can I have my silk touch? Might as well take the ender chest, because I'm just gonna sit here forever. Another Elytra and another Mending. Hello. Hello, hello. When consumed, Chorus Root teleports to a block along the line of sight within 50 blocks. Meh. Can I use it to, like, make something else? Not interested. More Elytra, more mending. I don't mean. I will gladly take all your mending. I think that's it, right? We had come from this one, I think. That's where we spawned. The spawner. Electricity or something right now. Right. 
I think that's it, guys. We got this... These two big giant rooms. I'm gonna have to look at the loot when we get back. Are we gonna have enough time to make that stupid bow? Uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, we probably will. It's only two hours. I've been I've been sit thinking of like, okay, I gotta like start cutting off at two hours because they keep going after that usually. But uh, maybe we'll you know go make that bow real fast. That'll take us back to spawn. What the hell is that? Let's go see what that is first. I don't know what that is. That looks like something important. Aha! Another one. Wow, I'm glad I went over here. What the hell is this? Oh, it's one of the ships. Whoa. Dang, it looks cool. It's like a spaceship. Is there any way to get in? Correctly? Doesn't look like it. It's pretty cool. Is he a legendary? I think so. Found the door. <laughs> a little late. Damn, more loot. Is this actually going to be a real map? Oh, it is a real map. That's the old one. Set that aside. Nice. More stasis. Always stasis, stasis, stasis. Rapid speed? Nah. We're not gonna take it. Combo star. Woo. Ender mending. Oh my god. Smart ass? That's the one that it lets you get. Yeah, we'll break the top block first. Ender mending? On a little knife? Hey, it ain't so. That's cool. It's like supposed to be the seat. Ooh. Mr. Dragon Head. I need that. Two whole dragon heads we got. Hmm. Wonder what that does. Pretty cool. Damn, that looks sick. I really want to explore that, but I think we'll do that next time. I'm sure it's got goodies, but... I've already done a lot of exploring. I know there's other stuff too. Yeah, see there's like a dungeon over here. Another one down there. There is a lot of stuff we still do have to explore. I don't even know how we discovered that over there. I have not used cheats or anything in the end, so I'm just like, huh? How did that... Like, how did I discover this? It's weird. We need to check that out next time. Alright, well... I think we should probably head back home. Let's see if we can use our... Nope. Okay, so you can't use the magic mirror when you're in another dimension. So let's head back home. Let's try and make that bow. Do I even want to mess with any of this stuff? I'm going to probably do this next time. I know there's a bunch of gear and stuff that we have to look through here. A bunch of... Uh, 
books too. I'm like, dang, kind of not looking forward to that. Bunch of diamond. We got that instrumenting, wasn't it? Yeah, this thing. What would we even put it on? Because I forgot we can only put endermending on like tools, right? Yeah, see weapons, tools, ultra. What would we put it on? Mm. We already have weapon, pickaxe, shovel. I guess, probably just put it on the axe. I don't really know what else to put it on. I really wish we could put Ender Mending on armor and all that. That sucks, we can't. It's really stupid. Hoe, I guess? What do I know? Fishing pole, I guess? Like, I don't know. It's kind of whatever. I forgot, now I can disenchant this and put it on my other fishing rod. Okay. Well, since we're done with our little end expedition that was not supposed to take that long. Oh, let's go look at our dirt. Is the dirt ready? Oh, some of it's ready. Look at that. Rich soil. Nice. Cool. Still took a long time, but we still need to gather all the rest of that. Did this grow back? I don't remember that being there. Okay. Let's make... The fancy schmancy bow. A regular bow plus a diamond upgrade kit. Iron upgrade kit. Stone upgrade kit. I have an iron bow. All right, well, let's do this. Triple upgrade shot. Strong diamond. I think we need like two or three of those, right? Oops. Upgrade plate. Explosive upgrade. Triple shot. Diamond bow. We have an iron bow already, so we need a diamond upgrade kit. We need an iron upgrade kit. Stone upgrade kit. Strong stone. What am I forgetting? Oh, it was a crafting table. That's what it was. Seriously, not have any wood? Just like, what? <laughs> What's wrong with you? What do you mean you don't have any wood? The hell? There's still organic compost in here? How did I get this? Plank? Okay, really? It has to be a specific... Has to be a Pacific. Stone upgrade kit. Now iron upgrade kit. We need strong iron. Don't we have that already? Yes, sir. Now we need diamond upgrade kit. Strong diamond. Alright, cool. Iron bow. Chunk. Diamond bow, baby. We're gonna need to rebind this. Press B to open upgrade inventory. Key to open upgrade inventory. Is that comma? Yes. Uh, what is this? Okay. I'm just gonna try it out. Only 750 durability. Ooh. 
yeah, I'm just gonna try it out and uh, we'll see what happens. Let's just try it out now. I mean, what's the point of even going to the nether? If this thing might not even work. You know what? Let's go to the nether. <laughs> it would not, it would be boring for me to just try it out here. Come on. Come on. We gotta go to the nether to try it out. Shift right click, sneak right click. People said that you could, uh, once again, people were like, oh yeah, you could click shift right click to go up the ladder. And I was like, oh cool, I listened to them, but you can't have anything in your offhand apparently. And you have to have an empty offhand. So you have to have either an empty hand or an empty offhand in order to do the whole shift right click thing. Or am I just using the wrong? I'm doing shift right click. You have to have an empty hand. Unless I'm wrong, but whatever. Anyways. Ah, oh, damn it. I forgot about the compost. Oh, well, we're already here. All right, let's go try out this fancy schmancy bow. Oh crap, I forgot to read what the guy said. Okay, so this is what he said. I found it. I was looking up on the Rad2 Discord to see exactly what he said. He said he found the best way to mine ancient debris, make an emerald bow, then add triple arrow and explosive upgrades to it. Have bending on the bow with a backpack pumping experience into it. Also need quick draw. Also add quick draw to it. Mine at Y15 in the nether. I just got two stacks of debris in the past 50, 30 minutes. You also need fire resistance because there's lots of lava. Okay. I know I made like a little nether farming place right here. Apparently I need to take out more of the ceiling. I just use my junk. Nope. Alright, so this is my old oh god, all this stuff stayed, of course. Uh I guess I should just leave it. This is the old place. I was farming with just like a regular mining spell. See, look at. Now we have our fancy schmancy bow. Let's see what happens. Ooh, that's pretty good, actually. <laughs> we would just need that quick draw on it. Dude, that's hella good. Hondo was saying that it wasn't that great, but he also has the piercing, uh, he was saying he uses the piercing AOE explosion spell, and I don't have tier 3. I don't got tier 3, what's it called? Spellbook yet. So, I can't do that. What the hell is that? Oh, the bowl. So, for those of us who are plebs and we don't have... Look at that, dude. It's murderous. That's amazing. <laughs> For those of us who are plebs and we didn't do this is fucking this is game changing. For those of us who are plebs and we don't have is that a blackstone? Oh, I thought it was a dragon tomb or whatever. Uh, again, for those of us who are plebs and we don't have the level three spell book, dude, this is it. This is it, boys and girls. Only problem is all that lava, as always. So yeah, so you make a bow. 717, let's see how much damage. Make a bow, this bow from the... So it does take three durability. So it's from this mod, extra bows. You make this bow, and then you put on this triple arrow upgrade, and then add on this explosive upgrade, and then obviously you need arrows. Does it actually take three arrows? Probably, right? 61. Yeah, it does actually take three arrows. So it would be nice if you had infinite on this thing. So you don't have to worry about arrows. And then you also got to worry about all the lava, too. Is that the goblin? Oh, no, it's just the piggy. I know I left a bunch of goblins over here, didn't I? I should probably take off my... Uh... See, this is an example of a time when you should probably take off your ender ring, because... You're just going to be picking up a ton of netherite, or netherrack, and that's no good-o. What do you got, mister? 
Well, see, I could get a totem and I've been dying from him, but you know, that's a lot of... That's a lot of netherite. I don't know if I want to do that. Anything else? Nah. That's true. We could trade netherite to him. And look at since I walked over here, we got a bunch of spawns now. Bunch of monsters. I'm like making a new biome down here pretty much. Um so yeah guys, you need infinity and quick draw on this thing probably, and then obviously mending too. Get some mending on this pupperino, look at that. Ooh, baby. People were saying apparently there's a duplication glitch you can do too, but I have a feeling Dreams probably fixed that, but who knows, maybe he didn't fix it, I don't know. We have enough to trade to the goblin. Trade me, mister. Noise. Probably gonna run out of arrows like this, yeah. Definitely gonna need to get infinite. Well, I only have it on the diamond bow. Probably gonna have to go make a bunch of... <sighs> make a bunch of normal bows and try and get infinite that way. I want to try out that spell Hondo was saying. But in order to do that... What was it again? We need a totem of undying in this wild and tribute. Okay. What's your problem, bro? It's because your dude attacked me. Now you guys are all trying to kill me. About to run out of arrows. Alright, so we tried it out. I mean, it, it works. So. It's not like we don't know it works or not. Dang it. So there you have it, guys. Explosive triple shot bow. Shit works. But. Just need to get mending on it and infinite. Mending. Yeah, mending would be nice. You don't even need that backpack upgrade, to be honest. Like, <laughs> like you would be fine just killing random guys around here. Mending and infinite. I feel like infinite is the bigger thing you need on this thing, just so you don't have to worry about arrows. You can keep just blasting arrows like no problem. All right, guys. Well, I think that's about it. I think we made a lot of progress, even though we did screw around a lot in the beginning. But uh, hopefully it helped out somebody doing that... Uh, talking about all the trinkets and all that i'm sure a lot of people don't know about a lot of those trinkets because i talked about them just randomly throughout all the episodes so um but yeah anyways i hope that helped out and uh i think the most important thing we learned <laughs> this episode is uh we're stuck using the lunchbox man like we can't be using that auto feeding backpack thing unless you don't care about getting the buffs from that uh, food diversity mod then hey whatever do your own thing you know you do you but uh, I want those buffs from the food diversity mod, especially the regen. That's pretty strong. So, uh, yeah, definitely be using that golden lunchbox because that's kind of our only choice we really have. And like I said, unless somebody can figure out a way to, you know, 
randomize the food we eat in that backpack, then hey, I'm all for it, but, you know, till somebody figures that out, we're kind of screwed just using the stupid lunchbox. But anyways, I think that's it, guys, for the video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.